Hey guys, and welcome back to another one of my videos. So today I'm going to show you how to basically uh, sculpt your uh, VRChat avatar in Blender. By doing this, you can change the uh, overall appearance of your head and or let's say your arm or your leg. You can make them uh, basically more thicker than the rest of your body. Uh, so let's say if you do it on the head, you can make the cheeks more puffier or you can just, you know, basically change the way your head looks like. It's really simple to do. So uh, let me show you how to do it. So here we have an example where uh, these two avatars are basically the same. But as you can see, the head on this one looks a lot different. And if I actually zoom into the arms, you can actually see that I also made the arms a bit thicker. So it just gives your avatar kind of a different look overall. And uh, this is really easy to do. So the first thing you're going to do in Unity is you're going to extend your avatar on the left side and click on this body here. And then on the right side, you're going to see body selected. And now, as you can see, uh, find this basically body here. And then right click, show an explorer, right click, copy. And then you're going to paste it onto your desktop. Then after that, you're going to boot up Blender. And in Blender, you're going to go File, Import, FBX. And you're going to find uh, basically your the file of your avatar. The way you move around your camera is pretty simple. Uh, you would hold down your scroll wheel if you want to uh, look around, basically rotate. You would hold down shift and then uh, hold down the scroll wheel if you want to like move your camera, you know, in a straight line. And then of course you would zoom in with your uh, scroll wheel. So that is basically how you move around your camera. So once you have it here in Blender, we're going to click on it so that it has an orange outline. We're going to go here where it says object mode, go to sculpt mode. Now here we can actually uh, change the avatar. So before you start doing anything, make sure you have this thing selected here. Uh, this is basically going to mirror uh, everything what you do on the left side is going to mirror on the right side. Now we have radius here, which is basically how big of an area you want to inflate to say like that. And you have strength uh, of how strong you want that to be. So of course, the more on the right side you go, the stronger it's going to be. And the more you go left, the less it's going to be. Now, on, here on this side, we have a bunch of little materials uh, that you can basically play around with. But I only know this one. Uh, you would use this one if you want to inflate something. And you would use this one if you want to flatten something. So uh, basically, these are very easy to use. You just uh, hold down mouse one. And now, as you can see, if I hover over cheeks, it's going to um, basically puff them up. Now you do have to be careful with this because uh, as you can see, if I do it too much, uh, it's going to inflate the actual eyes of the avatar. So just make sure that, oops, so just make sure that the uh, strength is not as big and that the radius is not as uh, strong as well. Now you can play around with this for as much as you want, uh, but basically that's what you do. You just use these two tools here and just mouse one and you go around and you can, you know, just play around with it as much as you want and until you uh, get it perfect. Now, once you're happy with your creation, you would go click on sculpt mode and go back to object mode. And uh, now we're going to basically export it. So you're going to go file, export, FBX, desktop, then name it, then go on this right side here, extend armature and deselect add leaf bones and then export. And then you're going to drag that uh, FBX into your Unity. Now, once you have it imported, you're going to select your body again, extend this little uh, here thing here, and you're going to click and hold this body and drag it on top of your body here. Now, if your avatar turns into like a stick figure, what you're going to do is you're going to select the FBX that you imported and where it says scale factor, make sure that it's set it to, set it to 100 and a uh, legacy blend shape normals you want to check that and then apply and that is basically how you use the sculpting tool it's really easy to use uh, although it takes a lot uh, you know you got to play around with it a lot to get uh, to you know get to the point where what you want but you can make an avatar look so so uh, different uh, so much different and uh, yeah it's just a nice little i guess uh, step in blender uh, so you start playing around with editing of your actual avatar but anyway, I hope that this video was helpful. Uh, do let me know in the comments if I missed something or if you have some questions. And yeah, I'll see you around.